This is a silicone gummy bear implant. This is a scalpel. This is Dr. Prani cutting a silicone gummy bear implant. So the reason they're called gummy bear implants is they act a lot like a gummy bear candy. So if you imagine you cut into a gummy bear candy and stretched it out, the contents don't leak everywhere. I can even squeeze these implants and get the silicone to really do that. And it goes right back to how it was. So we've now done this video of me squeezing this about 50 times because of all the different shots we've done. And you can see the implant is still together um, other than the fact that I cut it. Um, so that's the real great advantage of these new gummy bear silicone implants. Um, the silicone is much less likely to spread and leaking into your tissues like the old silicone implants. And that's why people really love these implants. And by far, they're the most popular implants we put into patients in our practice. But as with everything else in medicine, it starts with a consultation to talk about your preferences, your risk tolerance, and your fears, and what are the potential benefits you can get from surgery, and having a thorough, informed discussion with a local board-certified plastic surgeon. Um, and then you can come to a, an option or a choice that works best for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make.